Welcome to one of my least favorite skate parks in the DFW area. Today, I have brought something of my own to spruce things up a bit, a skate park that's even worse and that I only paid $127 for. Here it is, it's actually $157. So I have my cool ass GoPro head on. Let's just go on in and see what we're in for. I think the most shocking part is that this box is supposed to contain four different things. Actually three ramps, a flat part, and a rail. So five different obstacles in this box. It makes no sense, but you gotta give a little bit of admiration to the engineering. All right, they got a, it's got an instruction manual and everything. This is uh, this is gonna be quite the adventure. We gotta find a spot for this though. Best spot is across the entire skate park, so let's go all the way over there. So let's just jump into this. Uh, here is the rail. It looks very, very aluminum. The worst possible material for grinding, so that's a good start. Got some legs and doodads here and there. So the actual ramps themselves, I guess. Oh, so they put three stacked together and they are microscopic, really, really tiny ramps. I love that the screws and bolts are just like everywhere in the box. They're not even like in a specific bag. So all three of these ramps are the exact same. So I can't screw up too bad. Moments before a disaster. Aha! It's a little too easy to tighten them. What the fuck is that sound? What is actually that sound? It's like Stranger Things. So I think the ramp part is good. Now we just have to get the rail on, which uh, is gonna be the confusing part, but it's okay, we'll figure it out. We're all really, really smart. Combined fusion style. Ha! Okay, the rail, oh my God, that looks so sketchy. But yeah, we'll see. See, it still feels like so sketchy. Oh my God, oh my God, it feels so sketchy. Okay. Why is this like this? Oh, wait. I think we've got it. First impressions. So, um, it feels uh, sturdy enough to kind of deal with the skateboard. It can actually take my weight and nothing's like breaking or cracking. The only thing I'm really nervous about is the rail. I feel like because it's this cheap aluminum, my trucks might just like dig into it and I won't be able to grind. But since there is like more to it, since there's more ramps, more weight, what if it could actually sustain me? Because these things are known for moving around a lot when you have just the single ramp. So with all of them together, Maybe this could work. Maybe I didn't waste $157. Oh, and before I begin, there are three main challenges today. One, obviously just to test this out as is, then try to incorporate it in the skate park, put it against obstacles and see if we can make something fun. And then three, I just have a trick in mind that I really wanna learn a big challenge, which is a Nolly 360 flip nose manual. So if I have the energy, I would love to try to conquer all three challenges today. The first ride, let's see if we can just make it over. Oh my god, even just that was like janky as hell. It was like g -g 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 -g. Whoa, big ol' Ollie. Dude, I can barely pop my tail, or I can't even. I can't even pop my tail. So you gotta like hit it and immediately. Alright, my tail's gotta pop. There we go. <laughs> nice, dude. There we go. Woo. I also just realized that the lip where you're trying to go into the manual sticks out the wrong way, so it actually stops you. I'll count it. I think it's time to go for the grind. So for this one, the reason it's so awkward is because you ride on top and then you try to ride off onto this, but there's literally not even enough room on top to have all of your wheels. So you kind of just have to like, like drop into it and it wobbles so much, who knows which direction I'm gonna go. And there's like a lip everywhere. I know I'm complaining about everything, but like, it's like expert level dumb. Oh, dude, I literally like almost actually ate it. Oh. Oh my God. Why would this even exist on the end for me just to knock it right off? But yeah. I survived. I don't know how, that was so difficult. Last two challenges, one of which I don't know is humanly possible, but kickflip off this ramp over the rail from here to there. And then also see if I can actually board slide the rail from this angle. So I like hit the ramp, kind of lift up and board slide the rail. It's like, it's strange because you're going like straight at it, but who knows, maybe it'll work. All right, first kickflip attempt. Let's hope for the best. Dude, literally hard just to get my board to like exit the vehicle. Might as well do a couple warm up tricks on the way out. Oh my God, that's so difficult. So janky, it's like did it, did it. Oh my God, what if I like can't do this? There we go, I actually popped it, that was kinda cool. 
the whole thing's starting to move too. The whole ramp's moving. How did that work? <laughs> it's like a decent kickflip. I feel like this board slide one doesn't really have to be scary. I can just kind of like do like that, like really lighthearted. Oh my God, my board's gonna snap. Oh, it's not sliding at all. Oh, it's really not going. Oh, it's not going. There we go. There we go. Solid as hell, dude. So good. Is this guy a pro? Obviously, no surprise here. This thing is horrible. Like, it's so janky. And it's actually worse than I thought it was going to be because it started moving when I was actually going with the momentum towards this direction. And then, of course, the rail slides and grinds really bizarre. You saw how I came out of the 50-50 and how the board side just kept sticking. So that aluminum, it's not even good for grinding. So beginner skateboarder, I feel like he's going to go on this ramp and be like, why is this so hard? When in reality, having a ramp that's twice as long to where you can actually hit the ramp and then control your skateboard is going to be a thousand times better. So everything about it is pretty jank. Uh, it's cool to have kind of just to like tinker around with like I've been doing today, but it doesn't make skateboarding any easier. It actually makes it much more difficult. But let's see if we can actually take these ramps around the skate park and see if we can apply it to other things. <laughs> that the only issue with the rail earlier when I was sticking on it was actually the angle I was going at. It actually ended up sliding and grinding decently afterwards. I didn't grind it much, but the slides, it's nice. The front blind going into the board slide, it actually adds a really cool element. It's essentially a curb. Like when you have a curb in a skate park, you can kind of put it around and play with it. And that's what I did. Everything was super cool. The ramp itself never got any better. It was still jaggedy and hard to skate, but I would say very successful skate session. <laughs> so I actually just got back from San Diego yesterday. We were filming this really big project for a very big brand and I can't wait to put out the videos because I actually was only there for two days and I filmed two videos. So I documented the whole day we were filming this like big commercial thing. So I'm gonna be part of this big campaign for a, you'll see, it's, it's, it's actually very exciting and very cool and I'm so stoked on the opportunity. But it was also me kind of finally going on a trip during this whole COVID mess. Like I have been so introverted and stuck in, well, Texas, which I've had a, I've, I've had such a lovely time. I mean, this has definitely like become my home essentially. And even when I left for two days, I was excited to come back to see my fiance and my cat. And I love how beautiful the area is, but it was nice to finally be like, let's go on a mission. And it went super, super well. So now I'm actually planning on a few trips I wanna take. Uh, hopefully a lot of trips that require driving because I just, I, I enjoy driving more. So I actually have a whole trip like America tour thing planned out that I cannot wait to embark on. So just kind of want to drop a, a bit of my life. I know I usually go into like the entire day with vlogs, etc. But since I went to San Diego, my battery is about to die and I actually forgot to charge them last night because I was so tired when I got back. Uh, and I'm just like so juiced today that I was like, who cares? I can film everything in, you know, one battery. But, uh, but I can't, so I'm gonna try some tray flip nose manuals and then I'll try some Nolly tray flip nose manuals. So my battery pretty much died right away. And that was my session here at Lake Worth Skate Park with the worst 
skate ramp, skate park thing humanly possible. Do not buy this ramp uh, if you are trying to invest in, you know, good ramps and stuff. It sucks because it's a hundred and fifty-seven dollars, which tricks people into thinking that they could get a lot of things for a little bit of money. But it's really not the case at all. It's very, very, very hard to get used to. It's honestly worth spending almost twice as much on one ramp. So if you want to get like one rail or one actual good kicker ramp, it's going to suit you better in the long run because it's definitely way closer to what a real skate park ramp is. So this is not like a good preparation. It's actually better just to go to a skate park and try to do that. But I know a lot of a lot of local neighborhoods don't have that. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Progress daily and keep going out.